all that prep work and practice. And so, uh, yeah, very frustrating. When you're trying to give somebody a great experience and you realize you sound like amateur hour in your basement. That's what it sounded like. Hello, welcome everyone. My name is Roman. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. I wanted to uh, give you all an update on a live stream that I did earlier this week. You know, I studied on YouTube and on the web how to do a live stream, how to make it work. Um, I've even practiced doing live streams with some close friends to make it, make sure I got everything set up, ready to go, and everything seemed to be working pretty well. So I set up a, uh, you know, I cleaned my studio, I got my guitars tuned, my bass guitar tuned, I had my MIDI controller set up, ready to go, I had my DAW set up, ready to go, audio microphone, I had my webcams, everything was set up, ready to go. I even scheduled the event like uh, 24 hours ahead of time. I had texted and emailed some friends and some of those friends sent out more texts to other people. So I had like 30 people show up for the live stream, which was really awesome. You guys rock. I appreciate it. I go to connect. I'm using OBS software and OBS software. So, you know, I click the start stream button and it says it was streaming and I waited for a few moments and YouTube would not see my stream. So I had to like over the course of five to 10 minutes, try to fix this problem. So I had all the viewers ready to start. I went ahead and let them know that I was having technical difficulties. And so I had to go find right away the, the actual URL that YouTube wanted me to use for the streaming, which is probably their default one, but I, I had to enter in a custom streaming to fix this problem. So I grabbed that URL. I grabbed my, uh, I guess they call it a stream code or whatever it is set it up in OBS, boom, it worked. The only caveat is that it created a new event. So while everybody's waiting in my other event that I've been scheduling, that people have set reminders on, uh, sitting there waiting and twiddling their thumbs, and this was over the course again, maybe like now I'm probably 10 minutes into when I sort of should have already have started. I went ahead and pasted the URL for the new event and all of my viewers clicked on that link and went to the new event, the new live stream event, whatever you want to call it. And all my viewers went to the new event. So great big shout out to everybody who watched and stuck with me. Um, I'm glad we were able to get it resolved that quickly. So, but that's only the first part of the story. <laughs> so I go through this whole process. I've live streamed for like an hour and a half. It was actually good. I felt good doing it. I mean, I played the bass guitar, I played some drums, and I felt like it actually, I, you know, I felt like it actually went really well. Well, once everybody signed off and I shut it down, so I went in and put in some info links and some end cards like I'm supposed to. I'm going to update my description because again, it was just an auto event. I didn't, I wasn't prepped for it. What I found was when I went back to edit, like add my in cards and info cards that YouTube copied my last stream data and used that as the default. So they pre-populated the titles, the descriptions, the tags, everything, which is nice in one way, but totally not prepared for it. So I go through and I finish editing them. It took a while for it to be able to actually do the editing. Meanwhile, I was able to watch some of the video and then I discovered all that practice that I did, it did not sound that great. Um, the music was too quiet. My voice sounded okay. The instruments, the way they were routed, did not sound okay. And so, uh, yeah, very frustrating. When you're trying to give somebody a great experience and you realize you sound like amateur hour in your basement. Everyone who hung in there with me, you all are awesome. I totally appreciate it. Uh, the fact that you're willing to stick it out with me and give me a chance. I have to put myself out there and getting positive feedback is exactly what helps me do this type of stuff. Again, my name is Roman Noble. Thank you everyone for hanging out with me. I greatly appreciate it. 
please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, activate the notification. Next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central, I will be continuing working on this song via live stream. I will be using PreSonus's Studio One Live version 4, and I will also be using PreSonus's Studio Live Rack Mixer 16 Port Series 3. And let's see what we can make. You have a great day. I'll give you an update if I'm not going to be. No, I don't like that. So, so that. Uh, all right. So I will be here again next Thursday live streaming. I will be here again. Thank you for hanging with me. My name is Roman Noble. Up. Uh, I will be adding a song. I will be, yeah. So next Tuesday at 7 p.m. I should just stop this.